Hello and welcome to Road Gear Reviews. I'm Josh from The Freedom Theory and today I'm going to be showing you one of my favorite apps for travel which is OvernightRVParking.com. If you were to ask me which tools or resources any RVer or traveler must have, I would say OvernightRVParking.com. I use this app literally every single trip that we go on. If it's going to be more than one day of travel, I use this app to find a place for us to sleep and just as importantly to find places that we can't sleep because not every Walmart and not every Cracker Barrel and not every Sam's Club will allow you to do it. So this is the app that I use a lot. So today I want to give you a demo of the Android app as well as their web interface. So first I want to show you guys the website. This is the front page when you're not logged in and as you can see they really have a feel for what our viewers need. Right here it says if you're wondering where you can park overnight to sleep or if you can sleep without an eviction or a ticket, etc., this is a site for you. So they really have a good feel of what us RVers need. And uh, I wanted to show you guys this in particular because if you haven't subscribed, this is where you'll do it. You'll just hit the subscribe now button. Now the cost to subscribe is $25 a year. So let's go ahead and go to Google Maps and we'll take a look at what our annual pilgrimage might look like. Pretty much every year we end up in the state of Washington and then we end up down in New Orleans for Thanksgiving. So let's go ahead and put in New Orleans here. I'm going to hit directions and I'm going to start in, oh let's just start in Seattle. So as you can see here, we've got quite the route. It looks like it's going to bring us down here through Oregon, through Colorado, and so on. So let's go ahead and just look for a spot, I don't know, in uh, let's say Salt Lake City, Utah for us to spend the night. So we're going to be coming through. We want to stop in Salt Lake City. So we're going to go ahead and just search for that. All of the addresses are based on uh, Google Maps. So we'll put in Salt Lake City and in a second here, Okay, there we go. You're going to see all the locations populate. So there is a legend and you can look through that some at your convenience. It'll show you what all the different colors mean. But what we're mostly looking for is green and red. Red means that you're not allowed to sleep there and green means that you are allowed to sleep. You always want to check with a proprietor, of course, if it's a business to make sure that the information here is up to date because this information is submitted by users. But let's just go ahead and click on one of these and I haven't planned this demo. This is as new to me as you, so we'll see what kind of places are in the area. So I'm going to click on this one right here and it's a Walmart store. And you can see that our viewers have reported that it is okay to spend the night. They've also reported that it's well lighted, appears to be level, and that there's a Taco Bell and McDonald's within walking distance. That's the sort of information that you're likely to see. Um, RVers like to submit that information, and when you submit sites, which you can do, I hope you'll include that information as well. The other thing to pay attention to is up here, people have given the phone number, they've given directions, and then GPS coordinates here as well. So you can go ahead and put those directly into your GPS. There are two other things that I want to show you really quickly. One is that you can submit new sites by clicking this info button right here. And there's a whole host of different options here. And if you go through these, you'll see how to submit new sites. That is worth doing because you'll get free weeks or even months added to your membership for doing so. So I highly recommend that you take the time to submit new sites and help other RVers out. The big advantages of overnight RV parking is that it doesn't just have Walmarts and other commonly known stops. It just so happened that the first location I chose was a Walmart, but I was clicking through some of these other ones. And if you look at, there's a Cracker Barrel, Another Cracker Barrel, there's one over here. There we go, Rocky Mountain Cummins. So Rocky Mountain Cummins allows RVers to park overnight. So that's just the sort of information that you'll find all across the nation, everywhere from dirt lots to closed lots, you know, closed businesses where you can sleep in the lot to Cummins dealerships. You just, you're gonna find all kinds of places here that you won't find on a lot of other apps. The other things that I wanted to show you real briefly, if you click this info button, you can submit a new location here. 
You can submit a new location here where it says add a new location. You can also click over to satellite view and you can do this in the app as well. And satellite view is really handy because as you can see I'm zooming in here and we're looking in this case at this Walmart and we can get a really good look and see okay here's the Walmart this is what it looks like here are the roads coming into it and you kind of get a feel for what things will be like before you arrive. The final thing I want to show you on the website is this tab that says files. If you click on this tab it will present you with the form that you can fill out that will allow you to get a PDF file containing all of the locations for the area that you're going to be in. That's obviously really helpful if you're going to be in a place without internet access or cell service. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the Android app. We're here in the Android app and as you can see the interface or the map itself is very similar to what's on the website. Let's just use a different example here and let's look at Albuquerque, New Mexico. This is a place that we come through quite a bit along I-40 just as we're traveling from east to west and so on. So let's say we're traveling through Albuquerque and we're looking for a place to spend the night. I'm just going to choose, I would butcher the name if I said it, Cedillo? Cedillo? I don't know. I'm going to hit the green dot here and this is actually a park and ride lot. So you can see that users have said there's no signage there restricting time or duration of parking. There is a space for trucks and other large vehicles and apparently you can stay the night there. There is a clickable address up here at the top that will open up the default mapping application on your phone. The GPS coordinates are here. And then another thing is this last update time. This is the last time that a user submitted information about this location. I find that handy because sometimes users haven't submitted information in a long time. If the place hasn't been updated in several years, you may want to call ahead just to make sure that circumstances haven't changed. However, you also can get free time added to your membership by updating existing sites. So you can get free time by referring friends, by updating existing sites, and also by updating locations. So that concludes my review of OvernightRVParking.com. I highly encourage you, sign up, try it out. It's a tool that should always be in your tool chest, so to speak. Every traveler should have it, in my opinion. And I'd also love to hear from you. What apps do you like? Are there any apps that you would like to see reviewed? If so, please leave it down in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.